Milwaukee team extends their undefeated streak to 14 games. Go Broncos! Woo! Well, hi again, hockey fans. Welcome into CCHA Now, week number eight. My name is Ben Holden. Great to be with you here for the show. Got a guest here with me this week, the CCHA regular season championship trophy. And well, the Michigan Wolverines, they are one of two teams that can still lay claim to this championship trophy. We'll tell you more about that momentarily. Do you want to remind you though, Jack Johnson wore this Michigan jersey some years ago when he was playing for the Wolverines. And if you're down at the CCHA championship, March 16th and the 17th, you could have an opportunity to win this jersey. And there are also other NHL players from the CCHA. You could win their college jerseys. You could also win their NHL jerseys. But the key is you have to be in person at Joe Louis Arena the 16th or 17th of March to have a chance to win. Now, on to the business at hand here. Michigan with a great weekend this past weekend. The Ferris State Bulldogs, another great weekend. They are still rolling and rolling big time. The Bulldogs have clinched at least a share of the first place spot in the CCHA regular season. And we'll show you the CCHA tournament seeding possibilities. On the left side of your screen, we'll walk through those. Alaska, the highest they can finish. They're basically where they're at, they're 10th. Bowling Green is as well at 11. Now, Ferris State, they can go as high as they are, number one. They can also end up with Michigan tied in points, and Michigan would actually win the tie break because they swept Ferris State in October if Michigan takes six points at Bowling Green. Lake State could finish as high as third, as low as ninth. Miami as high as second, as low as seventh. Michigan touched on their situation. On the right side, Michigan State, they could finish as high as second they could finish as low as 7th. Northern Michigan 6th and 9th their situation and the same for Notre Dame who needs to find a way to win a hockey game this weekend. Ohio State, you could say the same for them. They are in the situation where they could finish as high as 4th and get a first round bye and host in the second round. They could also finish as low as 9th. Western Michigan could finish as high as 2nd and as low as number 6. Well, we hope you've digested that, and it should be one heck of a final weekend in the regular season coming up around the CCHA. What do you say we get now to our top 10 plays of the week as we do here on CCHA Now? We'll start you off with number 10. And for that, we take you to Yost Ice Arena on Friday night. The Wolverines take it on Northern Michigan. Greg Pattern, we've seen this before. He fires Alex Gupto, the outstanding freshman, the tip in. That is our number 10 play of the week. Staying with Michigan at number nine, Saturday night. Ryan Doherty thinks he's got Sean Hunwick beat, but he flexes the right pad, does Hunwick. A beautiful stop there in at number nine. Up to the Sioux we go in Taffiable Arena for number eight, Fred Cassiani. The pass in front to Colin Campbell in the right circle, and he goes up top for the roof shot goal there on Saturday night. Back down to the lower peninsula on Saturday night. Scott Sarnowsen, the shot from the right point. Aaron Schmidt with a great tip in for Ferris State. And the Bulldogs continue to roll. They swept this past weekend against Bowling Green. In at number six, Greg Patteron has become a force on Michigan's back end. This from the contest on Saturday night against Northern Michigan. Just laying the body, finishing checks. Greg Patteron, defensive package, our number six plays of the week. It was very exciting around the state of Michigan last Saturday, Hockey Day in Michigan. So many great events that were going on, and of course, our proud partner, Warrior, sponsoring this year's Hockey Day in Michigan. Our own Jeff Sell takes a closer look back at some of the highlights of Hockey Day in Michigan. Warrior Hockey Day in Michigan was a great success held this past Saturday, February 18th, as part of USA Hockey's Hockey Weekend Across America. And it all got started with a ceremonial puck drop at midnight to kick off 24 hours of hockey at Joe Louis Arena. And that was just one of over 50 events held across the great state of Michigan. And that actually forced the Red Wings outside to hold an outdoor practice at Detroit's Clark Park. And it was all capped off by two outstanding CCHA games on Saturday night. Michigan won in overtime against Northern, and then Michigan State was the nightcap, and they shut out Alaska. Thanks for everyone who made Hockey Day in Michigan a great success. Thanks to all of our sponsors, and we'll hopefully see you out next year for Hockey Day in Michigan. Happy Hockey Day in Michigan! Well, let's move on now and get you on to our Players of the Week. Without further ado, we turn to our own Jeff Sell for that. The post-game offensive player of the week goes to the red-hot A.J. Trias of the Michigan Wolverines. He had three assists and notched the game-winning overtime goal to clinch the series sweep over Northern Michigan on Saturday night. 
the Gladiator Defenseman of the Week. Also a Wolverine goes to Lee Moffey. He had a goal and three assists, including two blocked shots over the Wildcats this weekend. The goaltender of the week in the CCHA belongs to the Miami Redhawks' Connor Knapp. He stopped a total of 59 shots and boasted a .983 save percentage in a series sweep over Notre Dame. And lastly, the Gong Show Rookie of the Week goes to Tanner Soren to the Michigan State Spartans. He matched up a goal and two assists in a sweep over the Alaska Nanooks. And that'll do it for this week's CCHA Players of the Week. For CCHA Now, I'm Jeff Sell. Now back to Ben. Moving on now, let's take a look back in our CCHA Rewind this week. And for that, we take you back to February 29th of 2008. It was an awesome night in Oxford, Ohio. Tonight, here's Davis. He's going to test Palmer Davis. He scores! Nathan Davis, 3 nothing. Well, just a snippet of this week's CCHA Rewind, which will be available every Thursday morning at CCHA.com, so check those out. A lot of great memories looking back at some great games from around the CCHA. Let's get you now to the USCHO.com poll this week in the Ferris State Bulldogs. Bob Daniels and the guys just cannot lose. They are the top dog once again this week in the poll, getting 36 first place votes. Michigan has climbed up two to number three this week. They got three first place votes. The bottom half of the poll, more CCHA heavy. Michigan State up three to 13. The Spartans playing very well. They won five out of six. Miami with a good weekend in Oxford this past weekend. They're up four to number 15. Ohio State remains the same at number 17. Notre Dame drops five down to 18. And Western Michigan, they drop a spot down to 19 in this week's USCHO.com poll. And one other footnote on the Ferris State Bulldogs in the calendar year that is 2012. Bulldogs are unbeaten so far. They'll be put to the test certainly this weekend against the Western Michigan Broncos. Speaking of, let's take a look at the CCHA schedules this weekend. On Friday, Ohio State is in Oxford to take on Miami. Michigan's at Bowling Green. Ferris State, those Bulldogs, number one in the country at Western Michigan. Lake Superior at Northern Michigan. Michigan State, an 835 start time. Note that one in South Bend on Friday. On Saturday, Miami goes to Columbus. Western Michigan goes to Ferris. Michigan's at Bowling Green. Michigan State at Notre Dame. Lake Superior goes to Marquette. And Alaska Anchorage, can't forget about the series they have with the Nanooks of Alaska. And on the CCHA television schedule this week, a lot of games to take in on the final weekend of the regular season. A 6.05 start time on CBS Sports Network with Matt McConnell and Dave Starman down in Oxford. I'll be joined in the second half of the doubleheader at 8.35 by Jim Paradise, Michigan State, and Notre Dame. Darren Elliott will be on the call for you on Fox Sports Detroit, 7.05. It'll be Ferris State and Western Michigan on Friday. And then on Saturday night, Comcast Television on the air, Michigan State and Notre Dame. It's time to unveil our top five plays of the week. Exciting, certainly time to buckle the seatbelt and take a look at those. In at number five, we go to East Lansing, Michigan State and Alaska. Brett Perlini takes advantage of the defense, turning the puck over the overtime winner. Backhand shell for a 3-2 MSU victory. Also in overtime, in at number four, A.J. Trias. Great look from the captain, Luke Glendening. Cross-ice pass, and he rips it in as Michigan beat Northern Michigan 3-2 on Saturday. Reed Ellingson, great effort from him on Saturday. Out of the corner, Chris Brown to Alex Gupto, but the left pad comes out from Ellingson, and he robs the freshman there for our number three play of the week. Number two, it's Scott Grenham. He seems to always find a way into the top 10. An amazing sliding kick save on Saturday night, robbing Chris Forfar. Scott Grenham, number two this week. In at number one, Northern Michigan's Andrew Chernichan undressing the Michigan defense. John Merrill goes fishing, can't get it, and Chernichan with a beautiful finish. That tied the game 2-2 early in the third, but he gets our number one play of the week. Well, our shift on this week's edition of CCHA Now has ended. I want to remind you, the college hockey and the detour will make stops this week at Bowling Green, and on Saturday they'll be up at Ferris State. So if you're there, stop by and say hi to the guys and gals that are out there doing a great job on the college hockey and the D tour stop. Should be a very exciting final weekend of the regular season. Home ice spots up for grabs. Top five spots up for grabs in the CCHA. Hope you enjoy all the games. Remember, you can follow us at Facebook, Twitter, and CCHA.com. For all of our great crew, my name is Ben Holden. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the games, and we'll see you next week with an all-new edition of CCHA Now. With you on the CCHA!